Our bodies are tough. We routinely venture into some of the most inhospitable regions on Earth and manage to adapt. But once we leave our home planet, all bets are off. When we travel in space, we're able to take a lot of Earth's creature comforts with us. But the one item we could probably use the most, we have to leave on the launch pad. Gravity. How do we survive without gravity, where there's nothing at all? And even if we learn to, is there any chance for a long-term stay? Or are we destined to be eternally Earthbound? Space isn't an environment we've evolved to survive in. It leaves you weak, sick, and depressed. And that's after a successful trip. Three, two, one, zero, 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 zero and liftoff! Gravity holds us together, and without it, just about everything goes wrong. One of the first things astronauts complain about is nausea or vomiting. Without gravity, the inner ear barely functions, affecting coordination and spatial orientation. Particularly bad news for a pilot. After a few days, there's more trouble. Being in space is like standing on your head. Your body is programmed to drive fluids toward the upper parts, but with no gravity to counter the effect and keep the distribution even, the fluids pool in your head and give you a swollen face. Some crew members have experienced optic nerve swelling and changes in the retina and the overall shape of the eye. Our daily battle with gravity on Earth is commonly known as exercise. And without it, the body starts to deteriorate fast. Astronauts can lose up to a third of their muscle mass, including in their heart, within seven to 10 days of flight. A huge blow. The same goes for bone loss. Astronauts' bones actually dissolve in space at a rate of one to 2% a month. Weight-supporting bones like the femur take the biggest hit. Each crew member on the International Space Station puts in an hour of cardiovascular training and an hour of weightlifting every day. After a few weeks in space, sleep deprivation also starts to take a toll. And it's no wonder. There's a new dawn every 90 minutes. After more than a half century of manned spaceflight, we're well aware of the many psychological issues likely to arise during an extended mission. Being cooped up, working with the same people in the same routine can grow pretty dull. But that's not the worst of it. There is growing evidence that extended time in space can wreak havoc on our immune system. A NASA study found that the white blood cells of orbiting fruit flies had a harder time gobbling up invading microorganisms and fighting infection than their Earth-bound counterparts. Scientists think the microgravity environment can disrupt even the most basic cell functions. But what's happening inside the body is just part of the problem. Astronauts often experience bright flashes of light, which are caused by cosmic rays passing through their brains. So far, most long-term expeditions have stayed close enough to Earth's atmosphere to keep these doses of radiation low. But with more distant travel to Mars, exposure levels could turn deadly, making the missions too risky. That's 
After Neil Armstrong successfully walked on the moon in 1969, NASA began moving forward with plans to create giant colonies in space. Early designs all included artificial gravity, generated by enormous spinning wheels. They work kind of like those rides at amusement parks that spin around and pin you to the outer wall. If the massive wheel is spun at just the right speed, the outward force will feel just like the gravity here on Earth, eliminating the harmful effects of weightlessness. And once it's spinning in the vacuum of space, it requires no additional energy or maintenance to continue. Still, there are challenges. First of all, you have Then you have to build A far simpler solution may be a kind of gravity skin suit. It uses elastic pressure to squeeze you and simulate gravity. In the long term, artificial gravity is something we're going to have to figure out. Gravity is something we're going to have to figure out. Because we now know we can't live long without it. And that's heavy stuff.